We're off to Smyrna for an authentic taste of Puerto Rico. So Porch Aladdin Kitchen is obviously a restaurant, but it's a lot more to me than that. Um, it's a place that I want people to feel like they're on my porch, they're at my house. Um, literally the concept uh, what started there. Um, that's where I came up with the ideas for the menu, the concept, the space, and um, you know, just want to make people like when they're here, they feel like they're in my house. Andre, the owner, comes and greets us, and it's like coming to your like friend's house, and it's just awesome. He's a great chef, and everybody really appreciates coming here. It's almost like family. Puerto Rican cuisine is a sofrito. A sofrito is the base for a lot of soups, a lot of sauces, any type of cooking. You know, and it's very simple. It's onion, garlic, peppers, cilantro or culantro, and some spices. I don't like crazy spice, but a little bit of spice, definitely uh, meat and seems to be in every single dish, so which is I also appreciate. Our menu is small, and it's small for a reason, because we want to make things that are good every single time. One day, after you know, 50,000 ideas that people gave me, trying to go something in a Spanish name, trying to go something a little southern, one day the, the porch light faded and the porch light went on. Porch light, Latin kitchen, put it all together. Call my mom and she's like, ah, Dios mío! You do not believe it. I've been holding these porch lights for over 35 years. They sat at your great grandparents' house for 50 years. She had three sets of porch lights that we hang down the restaurant and kind of bring a little bit of, of that family feel to it, some culture, some history. Food for me is about bringing people together. You know, you break bread, you enjoy it with friends and family, and that's what we're trying to do here. I'm retouching everybody, making sure they're okay, making sure that they feel welcome. They got enough to eat, enough to drink, and they pay their bill. I'm normally not a big plantain person, but these are exceptional with the sauce that they put on the top, and it's just, it's great. Then you have the fruits and vegetables, like plantains is the most typical thing that you'll find in all the tropical fruit, pineapples, mangoes. You know, trying to present that in a way that, again, that, that's approachable, it's flavorful, realizing where we are, trying to use as much local ingredients as we can. There's some fruity flavors in there, especially like in the salsa that I wouldn't have normally expected. I mean, I don't know, it normally incorporates different flavors than I would have otherwise expected. Our burrito is super popular, but it's the way we prepare it. You can get a burrito anywhere in Atlanta for the most part, but my idea on the burrito is almost making like an arroz con pollo wrapped up in a tortilla. So we take Springer Mountain Chicken, we brine it, then we roast it whole in a beer can, sweet water 420, roll it up a tortilla, and then we press it on the, uh, on the flat top so you get that texture on the outside. I had the chicken burrito. I love it. I think it's so excellent. I actually decided it's one of my favorite foods that I would come back specifically for that. Flavors that I wouldn't normally think to put together, so there's some lime and a little bit of spice. Um, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Being Puerto Rican in Atlanta is, you're almost a minority, if you will. Um, there's a lot of us, but we're, we're, not, we're not all in our present. And I can't tell you enough how many people I've been able to meet um, that are from Puerto Rico or have been away from the island for 20, 30 years. They've made Atlanta their home and they're able to enjoy some of what they, what they used to grow up with. It's definitely happening and we're very proud of that. We're Cobb County residents, but we live in Vinings, so we'd like to see more of these kind of local owner-operated establishments in our area as well. Thank and you. we're super thrilled to have this in Smyrna, in our neighborhood. Everything is delicious. The hospitality is wonderful. It's my first time here, and I don't even live in Atlanta, but I'll be back. Today we're gonna make our can can pork chop. We brine it for a day and a half, then we pull it out dry, and that's what you see right here. Then we're gonna season it with kosher salt, alobo, and pepper. It goes on the grill, that flare is coming up, you see it separating, we'll flip it. There we go. See you later, bye bye. Once the grill, we get some marks, it goes straight into the fryer so we can render that fat and create that texture on the outside that we're looking for. And then we serve it, put it on a plate, give you a knife and a fork, and you eat it. As you progress through the meal, there's always just new and creative tastes that, that you're experiencing every time. Each, each bite tastes a little bit different, which is kind of new and exciting. I have a triple tort sandwich with the egg, and it's done just right, and it melts in your mouth. And then he's got this uh, vegetable of the day, which is the kale, and it's a sweet with a pop of spice and flavor. There's a lot of pride, a lot of passion, a lot of love, knowing that there's not a lot of this type of cuisine here. It's reason enough for me to elevate it, put it in my own style. You know, for example, we make a, a traditional mofongo, um, but we make a trifongo, for example, using sweet plantain, yuca, and, and green plantain, so we add the textures, the flavors, and we add uh, pan roasted mushrooms over it with a nice mushroom broth, we point it up. It's bringing that authenticity through, through the seasonings, through the flavors, the ingredients, but then, you know, I'm not a typical Puerto Rican, I'm in Smyrna, so we gotta give it our own little pizzazz, if you will. I like the atmosphere and lots of good food choices. You can never go wrong with anything that you pick off the menu. The fried fish is awesome. We use a whole fish preparation. Right now we're using red snappers, so I take the fish and I debone it down the center so you get head to tail whole fish, no bones down the middle. And then we just flash fry it, very simple, a little rice flour, caina lobo. So we really get the full flavor of the fish without a lot of batter. 
we make a hot sauce, we take our base aioli, a little avocado puree, give it a little more creaminess and flavor, and then we fancy it up by a hat and ketchup. I had a little bit of spice to the fish, and it was delicious. It's delicious, it's a great escape from the kitchen for me, and I get to enjoy a nice drink. We have a full bar, right, limited selection, because the same thing with the space, we gotta, we gotta keep it tight. Um, so, I'm a, I'm a rum drinker, right? Um, we have a great drink that we make with two different types of rum. One is Don Cu, which is a white rum from Puerto Rico. The Ron del Barrilito, which is a barrel-aged uh, rum, small batch, and, and juice. Pineapple, lime, lemon, and orange. Mixed up with a little cherry and, and orange that it's, I mean, it's delicious. Trying to reach back towards the local products, so we use Old Fourth Ward vodka instead of using your traditional rum, for example. Um, and it gives people a chance to learn about this vodka, taste this vodka that's very smooth and just made right in the, in the Old Fourth Ward, right by the Martin Luther King Jr. site. I really like appreciate the Puerto Rican flair that they bring to the table. I think they support kind of a wide palette of tastes. And every time I come here, there's always something new and interesting to, to try and, and taste. There's one of those things that my mom told me a long time ago. It's like, you have a gift, you know, and, and, and you got to find it and you gotta, you gotta own it. And um, I found out that through food, I'm able to you know, do that gift, you know, treat people right, cook them a good meal, um, and make them feel good about themselves. So what I do here is a lot. It is a lot, but I, I wouldn't do it any other way. You know, being in the trenches, burning, cutting, getting yelled at so I could be at this place where I feel comfortable and at peace, and, and I'm able to do it on my own terms, you know, uh, which is a beautiful thing.